At breakneck speed, this mysterious object is zipping through our galaxy. It's moving at a staggering 1 million miles per hour. That's so fast, it might potentially escape the Milky Way altogether. While scientists are trying to understand exactly what this space weirdo is, we're going into space to learn more about it. The object is currently moving at a distance of 400 light years away from Earth. Let's have a closer look and try to figure out if it could be a runaway probe. Nah, it's way too large for that. The object is around 30,000 times the mass of Earth and 8% of the mass of the Sun. What a giant! Such a size places it in a category that Dr. Darren Baskill, an astronomy lecturer at the University of Sussex, describes as somewhere between a star and a planet. Stars moving at such extreme speeds are super rare. Only one or two out of every thousand local stars travel so incredibly fast. So, if one day you found a star moving as rapidly as our cosmic enigma, you'd see it leave our home Milky Way galaxy in just a few tens of millions of years. In terms of space and cosmic distances, it's a blink of an eye period of time. After all, such stars can live for tens of billions of years. Even though the mysterious object is only moving at 0.001% of the speed of light, it's still potentially fast enough to eventually break free from the gravitational pull of our galaxy and fly into intergalactic space. Let's put this speed into perspective. J1249 is traveling 2.6 times faster than the fastest space probe ever launched. I'm talking about the Parker Solar Probe. The Parker probe reached this speed in June 2024 while looping around the Sun. J1249 was discovered by citizen scientists volunteering for NASA's Backyard World Planet 9 project. These volunteers sift through online images taken by NASA's Wide Field Infrared Explorer and NEOWISE missions. They're looking for anything interesting. Three of those volunteers spotted a faint, fast-moving object as it moved across WISE images. When they realized what they were looking at, they were incredibly excited but thought someone had already reported the space object. But surprisingly, that wasn't the case. At the moment, most scientists believe that CY's J1249 could either be a low-mass star or a brown dwarf. That's a type of star that is larger than a planet but too small to support nuclear fusion in its core like our Sun does. In other words, such stars don't have enough mass, and their cores can't burn their star fuel, radiating starlight. That's why brown dwarves, often referred to as failed stars, are smaller and cooler than the Sun. They even have complex planet-like atmospheres, which have clouds and molecules. For example, H2O. Anyway, to confirm or disprove this theory, astronomers continued to observe the object with the help of ground-based telescopes. Soon, they found out that the object had an unusual composition, with much less iron and other metals, compared to typical stars or brown dwarfs. It allowed NASA to claim the unthinkable. J1249 could be one of the oldest stars ever found in our galaxy. Okay, that's certainly a game-changer, but why is this potential star moving so fast? The research team has a few theories. For example, the object might be the remains of a binary star system where its companion, a white dwarf, exploded in a supernova after pulling too much material from J1249. Another possibility is that our mysterious traveler may have originated from a cluster of stars that dispersed after coming across two black holes. According to experts, one way to get to such extreme speeds is to fall toward an object and miss it. Such gravitational slingshots are how space probes are accelerated to extreme speeds, which allows us to explore the solar system up close over reasonable timescales. The same technique could also explain the speed of J1249. The star could have been born in the crowded center of our galaxy. Then it might have fallen toward a star, missed, and in the process was accelerated to extreme speeds. Well, let's leave astronomers to search for more evidence to confirm this exciting theory. Meanwhile, we're heading further to the binary star system 55 Cancri. 
It lies 41 light years away from Earth and hosts an amazing planet, 55 Cancri E, also known as Janssen. This is a scorched super Earth, eight times the mass of our planet, and it orbits its star in just over 17 hours. Yep, the year on this planet is shorter than one day on Earth. Plus, it's 25 times closer to its star than Mercury is to our Sun. No wonder the planet's surface reaches blistering temperatures of 4,350 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hot enough to melt nearly any known metal. Back in 2010, a study found out that the host star of 55 Cancri E had an unusually high carbon to oxygen ratio. If this ratio was also true for the planet, it would mean that 55 Cancri E might have huge quantities of carbon. And the coolest thing? It would be in the form of diamonds. It'd make this space body a literal diamond planet. Sadly, some follow-up studies discovered that the carbon to oxygen ratio on the planet was less extreme than originally thought. It makes the idea of a diamond-encrusted world less feasible. On the bright side, planets don't always have to match the composition of their host stars exactly. If some other process topped up the carbon on 55 Cancri E, it could still be the most precious planet known in the universe. Definitely worth a visit. But let's leave the diamond planet behind and fly to Vega, which holds a special place as one of the brightest and most important stars in the sky. The brightest of other stars is measured against the brightness of Vega on a special magnitude scale, where Vega's magnitude is zero. A star with a magnitude of 1 is 2.5 times dimmer than Vega, and a star with a magnitude of negative 1 is 2.5 times brighter. Vega is also a pole star, although not at the moment. Right now, Earth's axis points toward Polaris, the North Star, but Earth's axial tilt draws a circle over 26,000 years, and Vega will again be the pole star in about 12,000 years. Just you wait. But the coolest thing about Vega, which sets it aside from other stars, is that it's not shaped like a perfect sphere. Unlike the Sun, which rotates slowly and is almost spherical, Vega spins very fast, completing one rotation in just 12.5 hours. And it causes it to bulge at the equator, taking on an egg-shaped appearance. And now, get ready for the most dangerous encounter of them all. But first, I must warn you. Even though space is unimaginably vast, it's populated extremely sparsely. The universe's average density is equivalent to six protons in 35 cubic feet. But some areas, known as voids or supervoids, contain even less matter. These regions are enormous and can span 30 to 300 million light years. And there's almost nothing there. There are also places in the universe where time and space are distorted in ways that challenge our human comprehension, like binary black hole systems, where two massive black holes dance around each other before eventually merging. As they spiral closer, they release immense gravitational waves that ripple across space-time. The first detection of such waves was made by the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory in 2015 when it recorded the final collision of a black hole pair. In the final 20 milliseconds before the merger, the black holes released more gravitational energy than the total energy emitted by all the stars in the observable universe during the same period. But that's not all the universe has to offer. Once you start exploring, you can come across exoplanets like Korot 7b, where rock clouds form and send pebbles raining from the skies or Kelt 9b, the hottest known planet with surface temperatures reaching 7,800 degrees Fahrenheit, or Tress 2b, the darkest planet ever discovered. It absorbs over 99% of the light it receives, making it blacker than coal. So, as you can see, in the vast, almost incomprehensible scale of the cosmos, Mysterious, fast-moving objects, strange planets, and immense voids serve as a reminder of how much we have yet to learn about the universe.
That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.